guys, what's up? Uh, today I'm going to be recreating this eye makeup look. I was scrolling through Instagram today, like always, because who doesn't? I scroll through Instagram when they're trying to kill time. I was actually waiting to get my nails done. Ta da! And I came across this really cool Instagram page called Makeup Fanatic One, and I fell in love with one of their eyeshadow looks. And here it is. Voila! I really, really, really love the way this looks. I wanted to try it out on my skin tone, and I really did love it. I'm so excited to be sharing it with you all. Feel free to share this video. Give it a thumbs up. Okay, these are not my thumbs. Give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, my Snapchat, my Instagram, and of course my Twitter. Um, so if you would like to see how I recreate this look, then stay tuned. And I will see you all later. Bye guys. To begin with, I'm going to be taking my LA Girl Pro Concealer and I'm going to be carving out my eyebrows as well as prepping my lids for my eyeshadow. Now I'm going to be setting that concealer with my Cote Air Spun Powder and Translucent just so that I can have a smooth canvas for my eyeshadow. For my transition shadow, I'll be taking this nice orange eyeshadow from my Jaclyn Hills uh, palette by Morphe and I'll be applying this in windshield wiper motion right above my crease since I do have hooded eyes. Now I'll be taking this deep maroon red shadow and I'm going to be applying it slightly below the transition color and I'm going to be blending it in towards the inner corner of my eye. To deepen up the crease, I'm going to be taking this intense reddish brown shadow and I'll be applying that with a small detailed brush. This is really going to create some type of dimension into the crease. So in the picture, the lady did have a pop of gold on her eyelid, so I'll be taking Starlight by Morphe Brushes, which is an intense gold. I will be wetting my brush with Max Fix Plus, so that way the color can stand out even more. So just like that photo, we're going to go back to our Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette and we're going to be applying the transition color and the color that we used on our crease to the lower lash line so that we can get that smoky effect. So referring back to the photo, I noticed that the model had black on her lower lash line so I'll be taking Corrupt by Makeup Geek and I'll be applying that as well. To make it even more smoky, I'm going to be tight lining my top and bottom lower lash line. To prep my eyes for our falsies, I'm going to be outlining my eyes with my NYC eyeliner and I'll be applying my Maybelline Falsie Mascara. Finally, to finish off this look, I'm going to be taking my Smoky Mousse Lashes by House of Lashes. These are bomb. I really love them. And that's it guys. This is the final look. I hope you really enjoyed this video. Hey guys, what's up? Uh, thank you for 